What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Brock and Sindri. It's been a bit of a random couple of months or so in terms of uploads uh, ability. Without going too in depth, I was unwell up in, for a while and bit of work was also quite busy. Then when I started to get better, I lost my voice. Then when I got my voice back, I got the allergies and hay fever of spring because I live in Australia and it's springtime. So it's been a pretty hectic season, but we are now pretty much back and back with a bang. I um, want to get this video out there because I've spent the last probably two or three weeks now playing through my full second playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. This is obviously following the Cyberpunk Edge Runners Netflix anime series and the patch 1.6. And I must say, even on PS4, which I just played through on, it's holding up really, really well. Um, it was never as bad as probably what it got given the credit for on launch. Um, it was never that bad, but it was patchy and buggy and there were some issues with rendering at times, you know, crashing into random cars that appeared out of nowhere um, type thing. But it's fixed now for the most part. There's maybe a few things they could do a little bit better still and other stuff, but you know, there's a pretty good game in there to be honest and a really fun playthrough. And I have to say, we're at a point now with this where anyone that's still in YouTube comment sections or making videos saying it's broken, it's unplayable, I mean, they're basically still on a bandwagon, they haven't caught up, they're shit stirring and they can fuck off. And I don't swear lightly on this channel, but I've gotten to the point where we made a video on this channel very early on when it came out saying this is going to thin the herd. And, and if you're like us and you're a little bit nerdy about some stuff, a little bit geeky with some stuff, a little bit protective over certain things, you actually don't mind if something's not too mainstream and doesn't have a big big community you actually like it when it's like a nice little friendly niche community um for example fable as a game series these days is a much smaller community of fans but mostly very just very appreciative of the work and the witcher 3 for example as i see the project's previous game it it was it's been a growing community but it's it was a niche community when it came out fans of the books were less so um, most people probably got into the books via the games but in general fans of the franchise and the ip weren't massively easy to find in 2015 when the game came out but fast forward three four five years and it's everywhere to the point where netflix made a series on it so um, really interesting stuff and i think cyberpunk um is one of those that is a fairly niche community as well possibly could reach a bit further than the witches reach in, in a sense that the setting gives it that but we thought it would thin the herd it certainly did but it, there was still a vast minority of vocal people that were still just any excuse to stay on the bandwagon shit on cyberpunk and try and be cool be one of the cool kids oh it's still unplayable oh, game 10 years ago could do things that this game can't and not really realizing what it was so it's really good that they fix most of it now and that it's putting some of those people um to shame in the fact that they're still saying it even though they haven't probably played it in two years but 20 million overall sales I think the Steam servers have 300,000 players at generally any given one time, which is fantastic to see. And what I really, really, really hope for is with the announcement of Cyberpunk Orion, the new sort of game and the fact that they're really going on the offensive now with their announcements. They've done their groveling, they've done their saying sorry and trying to fix things and now they're moving forwards and I love it. I love to see it because CD Projekt Red have got my trust. Even with everything that happened with the launch, they've got my trust and I firmly believe that the future is bright for cyberpunk fans and they've obviously did some Witcher announcements too but the future is bright specifically for cyberpunk fans. There's a new expansion pack coming soon like DLC coming soon and if it's anything like Blood and Wine and Hearts of Stone it's going to be amazing um, 1.6 patch is great is playable now there's a 1.7 for the next gen that's coming and there's a new game that's been basically teased and announced and happy days and honestly um, without being too sanctimonious obviously we said it from the start that it'll be fine it is now going to be fine still hold firm on my biggest drawback of the game is that the actual main story is just far too short but i mean that aside it's actually a really really good game now um it was a good game at launch but now it's a really good game really fun sink a lot of hours into it i obviously did my david martinez playthrough um this time around is in the build from the character from the anime and it was oh boy was it fun now i'm going to do a lucy build and that's i'm sure going to be fun as well it's not my typical playthrough to do stuff like that i'm more of a brawler type player but anyway i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna come out of my comfort zone and try and enjoy it and but with that 
being said, the future is bright for Cyberpunk fans, the future is bright for gaming at the moment with a few games that are coming out soon and I will do some videos on some of those other ones as well including the names of the game that has features the namesake for this channel so um, we will leave this video there suffice to say that we're not trying to just have a go at anyone here but we do want to say that if you're still on the fence about cyberpunk but you wanted to like it you need to go back now with the 1.6 patch and you, you give it a go because it's well worth it and with that being said we'll see you in the next video guys thanks for sticking in there see you in the next one peace